So what happens if you're traveling for business or family or holiday occasions and you think you don't have time to work out and focus on your health and wellness? Well, this is the Bond Experience Travel No Excuse Workout. Hello, David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. We've got a quick one, but I think an important one for you today. If you're like me, you do a lot of traveling, whether it's pleasure or business, it's the holidays coming up, you are on the go and you have choices. Um, you could make excuses that you're traveling not to work out and not to eat right. That's a choice. That's a bad choice, but don't make that choice. Or you could fit something in to maintain your health. Now, eating, that's a whole other vlog. This is a very short, what I call maintenance workout. You don't need a gym. You can see I'm in my hotel room right now in California. We're gonna be seeing clients later. I'm gonna do a quick workout, but it's a maintenance one. You can do this while watching TV. It's simple. Let's show you some very simple steps to do it. Okay, so we're in the hotel room. I just got off the plane a little while ago. I figure I'd do this quick maintenance workout. Again, you can do this in the evening when you come back from a business dinner, it doesn't matter. I threw in a t-shirt, some sweatpants, and yes, even my trainers, because I know I like to do these workouts. And by the way, I love to use hotel gyms. This does not take the place of this. This is just if you can't get to one. So let's start, let's start. We're on the clock. So do some light stretches. We want to kind of bend a little bit flexibility and we want to kind of get that out so we're going to just do some very light stretches I'll go sideways so you can see what I'm doing here and what you're trying to do here is trying to stretch and lengthen everything out this is just feels really good because you're tight on the plane if you were like me you were squished I was by a window but I had a woman that was just bogarting um, everything now Here's something very simple. And guys, gals, you can do this while watching TV. Watch what I'm gonna do here. All I'm gonna do is lift my leg up, and that's it. You can raise your hands up if you wanna do something a little bit more complicated, but what I'm gonna do is for as long as I can, I'm not timing anything, I'm just gonna to try to keep my foot raised. This is working the obliques, it's working everything around the core, plus it's working on the strength of the legs, the flexibilities, by the way, if you want to be a hot shot and kind of do this and bend down, you can do that. You want to switch legs, go on the other one, put your leg out like this. See? Pretty simple, right? Looks ridiculous, but it doesn't matter. You're the only one in the hotel room, so why don't you just do it? And again, you can do this. I'm not going to do it for the whole period. You can do this while watching TV. It's really easy. The next one, everybody knows it as tree pose, so you want to get like this. And you can put your hands up, you can put them on the hips, you can put them out, you can do them in the front. But what you want to do is do this tree pose and hold it. Guys, gals, breathe. I'm talking, I'm yapping, you shouldn't be. Just breathe. I sound like Luke Skywalker in Last Jedi. Breathe. Just breathe. But that's what you want to do. You want to breathe. You don't want to hold your breath. That's going to make you full. If you breathe really well, and keep your spine really straight, it's gonna feel good. Try to bring your knee back. You know, let me go sideways here so you can see. Try to bring it back as much as you can, and then you wanna switch legs. Now, all this is doing is working on some balance and some stretches. It's very simple. What I like to do is I like to repeat this. So I'll do that leg raise, I'll do the left leg raise, I'll do right tree pro pose, left tree pose, and then repeat, repeat, repeat until my legs and my core really feel it. Once I've done that, then I move to something entirely different. 
Yes, I'm on a hotel room floor. This doesn't happily have, uh, this is a nice hotel, so it doesn't have one of those skeevy carpets with all the horrible things. But this is just some simple stuff to work your shoulders, your chest, your arms, your everything. So I'm gonna do some wide push-ups first. So basically, you want to get into push-up, don't put your butt up, keep it straight like this, and you want to bring yourself down. One, two, three, four, five, etc. I'm not going to show you how to use push-ups. If you don't know how to use push-ups, do push-ups, then quite frankly, I don't even know how you got YouTube on. It's just push-ups, and you want to do them as many as you can. I like to do 40 at first, and then what I do is I switch to military. So what is military push-up? Military push-up is basically hand to elbow. You want to go like this, and you want to do some, I'm going to move back a little bit, military. So like this. Two, three, four, five, etc. Again, you want to do about 40 of them. I know it's going to be painful. At that point, you're going to switch things up a little and do what's called staggered. So watch my hands. I'm going to put the right one high and the left one close to my body. So right one high and out, left one close to my body, and do staggered push ups. One, two, I heard a crack. Three, four, five, six, etc. Keep doing those, 30 or 40 of them. Then you want to switch, put your right hand high and out, uh, sorry, left, and your right one close by. Yeah, we're gonna make mistakes, it's fine. It's, we're in the hotel room. One, two, three, four, etc. Now, that might seem enough, but Here's what you want to do. Once you're doing that, things are starting to scream, your muscles are aching. Now you want to do really slow movement. So go wide again, move back a little bit, and you want to go down for a three count and then burst up really quick. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, etc. You want to do that with military and you want to do it with staggered. That's a lot, but trust me, you're going to feel like a million dollars. We're nearly done. So we're going to need something to work the triceps, all right? So we're going to hold, call these um, Skyfers. I don't call them Skyfers. They're from P90X, P93. And essentially what you're going to do is put your feet up against the bed. And you see how I'm kind of going down like this? and you want to go up. So you want to bring your pelvis and shoulders as high as you can and then go down for a three count. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. I'm not doing them very well, but you get the point. You want to keep doing those. You want to try to do about 15 or 20 of those very slowly. Stop small amount of rest, and then do it again. By the way, you can switch these up. You can do the balancing ones afterwards. You can do the push-ups first to get those done because you're going to be winded. And if you do them quick, like I've been doing them, even those short amounts, you're gonna find yourself getting a little bead of sweat. Look at that. But the whole thing takes about 15, 20 minutes. And by the way, why stop there? You're watching TV, you're listening to music, start doing these again because guess what you've waited long enough that you've rested this area you can go at it again mind you i'm not doing sit-ups i know a lot of people out there love to do crunches i think especially at my age turning 50 soon balance and things like that what that helps to do is it helps to shape this whole area right here as much as possible and it gives you that kind of lift and as you're doing this here's something new to throw in here really flex and almost do like a running thing, but then bring your leg out and stretch. And I'm kicking the wall, so that's probably not what you wanna do. But that's what you wanna do. You wanna mix things up a little bit. So if you're gonna put your leg out, bring it out like this and try to make it even more difficult and hold it. And then you wanna switch sides. So you bring the leg out, do your donkey kick, <laughs> Stretch out, I'm gonna go 3D, yes, the Bond experience in 3D. And then bring it back. 
when you're done with your exercises, and I haven't done a lot. I mean, look, I mean, it's, this is, this should be just something to maintain you. Maybe it's in between a workout day. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're over at Aunt May's house. Who knows? You want to follow up with some stretches. So you've, you've done some exercise. You want to keep doing the stretches again. So you could do these stretches. Um, what I like to do after this is to lock in the back like this and you want to go like that. Look, Venus de Milo made it disappear. And you want to bring them away from your body and bring your neck around like that. And then the other way, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder the other way, shoulder the other way, and then you're done. It's simple. I know it looks simple. I didn't go through the whole routine because you get the gist. It is a routine that works for me. Okay. Um, at 50 years old, I need to do these things to maintain. It does not take the place of my P90X, which I live and die by. It doesn't take the place that tomorrow morning I will be in this hotel gym. It's a good one. Um, lifting weights and doing things like that. It is to just maintain and get things working and moving and also to have fun with it. Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, here for the no excuse maintenance bond workout. I'll just call it bond because I'm wearing the shirt. We'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 